This mutant sure knows how to make an appearance. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Kurt Wagner, otherwise known as Nightcrawler. Who the hell is this? Kurt Wagner. But in the Munich circus, I was known as the Incredible Nightcrawler. Yeah, save it. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1975's Giant Size X-Men number one and was then expanded upon in 1997's Uncanny Origins No. 8, Nightcrawler, and 2010's X-Men Origins, Nightcrawler. In his first appearance, Kurt Wagner was shown fleeing a murderous mob in a German town. Resembling a blue demon, he revealed to the readers that he had fled the carnival in search of a chance to learn about the real world, rather than remain cooped up as a carnival freak show. Cursing the torch-carrying mob, he became enraged and attacked. Outnumbered, he was subdued, and the villagers prepared to drive a stake into his heart. But, before he could be killed, everyone stopped in their tracks due to the intervention of Charles Xavier, who offered Kurt the chance to come live at his school for gifted youngsters. From that point on, Kurt Wagner became a prominent member of the X-Men. This tale was eventually expanded to focus on Nightcrawler's birth and childhood. In 1997's Uncanny Origins issue, we're shown a young mystique carrying a baby while on the run from an angry mob who believed her to be a witch due to her blue skin. Using her shape-shifting ability, she saved herself by transforming into a man and pretending to have found the witch's child. Casting her own baby into the river, the child somehow managed to survive and was found the following day by a gypsy woman. As this gypsy woman was a fortune teller in a traveling circus, he was raised as the adoptive brother of her two children. During his youth, Kurt made a pact with his brother Stefan, who made Kurt promise to kill him if he should ever act upon the evil tendencies he felt brewing within him. An adventurous child, Kurt eventually snuck out to catch a movie. However, when spotted, he was chased out. Forced to crawl his way back to safety, his mother reprimanded him for acting like a worm. To discipline him and satisfy his craving for excitement, Kurt was made to train under the circus's finest acrobat. Taking on evening performances without a mask, having come out of the shadows to take on the spotlight, he was given the title of the death-defying Nightcrawler. One night, his adoptive sister fell during her show, through pure impulse, Kurt discovered his ability to teleport and rescued her in the process. Teleportation. I think of a place I'd rather be, look to it, and I am there. Now using his teleport ability to enhance shows, his act attracted the attention of an American circus owner who decided to buy them out. With his home being sold, Kurt decided to leave and seek out the answers to his life questions, rather than continue to live in hiding. But before he could leave on his soul-searching trip, his mother asked him to find his brother, who had run off. In the wilderness, he found Stefan with the bodies of murdered children. Revealing his inner hatred for his brother, Stefan called Kurt a demon for stealing the spotlight and revealed that the murdered bodies were all mutants. Enraged and remembering his oath, Kurt attacked and killed Stefan. Afterwards, Kurt fled to a nearby town, where he was pursued by the townsfolk who believed that he had murdered the children. It was then that he finally ran into Professor X. Of course, this tale was then expanded. In 2003, it was revealed that Nightcrawler's father was Azazel, a red demonic mutant with the same abilities. What is that? In 2010, his origin story added a darker side to Kurt's circus days, explaining that he had spent a large portion of his years in a cage. This explained how Kurt's faith and belief in God sustained him through the hard times. In this retelling, he took refuge in a church that was run by a kind priest before being attacked and eventually saved by Xavier. In the decades since his debut, Nightcrawler has become a beloved character that strongly represents the themes of intolerance, specifically due to his appearance and faith. He has appeared in the X-Men animated series in the early 90s, before being portrayed by Alan Cummings in 2003's X2 X-Men United. Are you a fan of this demonic looking mutant gymnast with the ability to teleport? For more informative comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Heartless fools, they know not what they do.